Hello, welcome. We are here today to talk about percent impedance or percent IZ. Now this is a number on transformers, often found on the nameplate. And it has to do with how the transformer is constructed and the actual impedance inside that device. It's a very important number, especially when we're calculating things like short circuit current, which can be a very important factor to an electrician. So we want to make sure that our overcurrent devices can interrupt that current. So now let's get started. Let's talk about percent IZ. Now I mentioned it has to do with the construction of the transformer. So it's going to take into account things like what is the core built out of, how uh, good is the reluctance of the core and the magnetic strength of the core, as well as things like the windings, you know, how many turns, what's the quality of the conductor, what's the actual resistance of those windings. Uh, now, like I said, we use it to calculate our short circuit current. We can also use percent IZ or percent impedance to calculate losses on a transformer or to calculate the voltage regulation of a transformer. Let's talk about how do I find out my percent impedance. Let's say it's not on a transformer. I want to calculate it. Let's do that. Okay, so I've got a transformer. Do, do, do. Now, we're going to use the same transformer we've been using in a bunch of other videos. So if you've been watching my other videos, you'll be familiar with it. It's 600 volts, 240 volts, right? And now it, this is a step down transformer. So my primary is 600, my secondary is 240. I've got H1, H2, X1, X2, or X2, X1, it doesn't matter. Now this is a nine KVA transformer. So what you do in order to calculate your percent IZ or your percent impedance is you do what's called a short circuit test. So I'm literally, going to short circuit my secondary. So I short circuit my secondary, just like that. And I take my, you know, ammeter. Now what I'm waiting for on my ammeter is my rated current. What I do on my primary is I'm gonna take a variable voltage. So this is a voltage supply and it is variable. Now with that short circuit, obviously if I applied rated voltage, I would, I would have huge current, I'd burn out my transformer, all that. But what I wanna do is on this ammeter, I'm looking for my rated secondary current. So quick reminder, how do we calculate that? Well, I have my secondary, would be 9,000 VA, divided by 240 volts. So in this case, it gives us 37.5 amps, right? So that's my rated secondary current. So what I wanna do is I'm going to short circuit, hook up my ammeter, and slowly start increasing that voltage on the variable voltage supply. That's gonna go up, it's gonna go up, it's gonna go up. Eventually, I'm gonna reach 37.5 amps on my ammeter. That's when I stop. And now let's say, just for our conversation here today, let's say that number was 20 volts. That's what I got on my voltage supply in order to reach my rated secondary current. That is the amount of voltage required to overcome the impedance of the transformer to reach my shorted secondary current. So that's the voltage I required just to overcome the impedance of the transformer to get my rated secondary voltage. So what do we do with that? Well, my percent IZ is my, uh, I'm gonna go with 20 volts, okay? So percent IZ will equal 20 volts divided by my rated voltage, 600 volts. So that equals 0 0.0333 or 3.33%. That is the percent IZ or the percent impedance of my transformer. Now, like I said, it could be on the nameplate, but it isn't always. Awesome. Now, what do I wanna do with that number? Let's say I want to calculate my I short circuit, my short circuit current. 
So what am I going to do? I'm going to take my rated secondary current, my rated current, and I'm going to divide it by my percent IZ. So in this case, I'm going to go 37.5 amps divided by 0 0.0333 or 3.33 percent. That gives me my short circuit current. In this case, it's about 11,300, or sorry, 1136.4 amps. That is a huge number. This transformer, the impedance of the transformer is going to limit my short circuit current to 1136 amps. All right, so the impedance of the transformer is all that's standing in the way, I know, along with the impedance of my short circuit path. But that right there is what I have available as a secondary fault current on that transformer. That's one of the reasons that calculating this percent IZ can be so important. Um, so we covered quite a bit in this video, right? The short circuit test is when I short circuit that secondary and slowly increase my primary voltage until I reach rated secondary current. And then we also talked about how to calculate my short circuit current if I know my percent IZ already. Uh, so I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Check out some of my other videos in the description below. And if you like this one, please press that thumbs up and hit subscribe to get notified when more videos come out. Have a great day. Thanks.